After an armed robber was shot and killed by a Dollar General clerk, his grieving family couldn't keep quiet. He was the second of ten siblings to die by gunfire. Outraged over their brother's death, they decided to speak up and issue some threats, boldly pointing out who they believe was wrong. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Roosevelt Rapley lost his life while trying to rob the Dollar General store at 2228 North Gettysburg Avenue in Dayton, Ohio at gunpoint. It was around 6.20 p.m. on a Wednesday evening when the 23-year-old suspect entered the store, pulled a firearm, and pointed it at several people inside as he demanded money from the clerk at a register, WHIO-TV reported. Unfortunately for Rapley, another clerk was prepared to defend himself. According to witnesses, the second Dollar General employee, who was not working at the cash register, confronted Rapley. When Rapley turned his gun on the second employee, that employee drew his own firearm and shot the armed robber in the chest in self-defense. Although Rapley left the store after being shot, he quickly collapsed outside the front doors where he died. I just had somebody try to attempt and rob me over here at Dollar General on Gettysburg. Came in with a firearm, threatened to take money out the drawer, pointed a gun at me and my staff members. The man who shot Rapley told dispatchers in a 911 call. He pointed a gun at me, I had a firearm on me, pulled my firearm and shot him in self-defense, he explained. The caller also said the suspect shot back, but it's unclear how many shots were fired during the incident. Rapley's family recognizes his wrongdoing but alleges the clerk was wrong for defending himself with a gun. Yes, he's robbing them. Oh well, Rapley's sister Rachel explained. He's got some responsibility but not all, she said, referring to her brother's actions. Right and wrong is wrong. That was wrong for that clerk to shoot my brother in the chest, she continued. Call the police, that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to take matters into your own hands. If that's the case, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. According to Lt. Jason Hall, Roosevelt Rapley was known to police. The deceased did have a pending weapons charge that was waiting to move forward, he said. Right now, we're looking into the possibility of this individual may have been involved in several other commercial robberies. Although detectives were still examining evidence and ballistics from the scene to determine how many shots were fired and what weapon fired them, charges are not expected against the employee who shot Rapley. As for Dollar General's policy on armed employees, it is unclear. While Dollar General stores said they have several measures to protect the safety of employees and customers, a statement obtained by News Center 7 stopped short of saying whether employees are allowed to carry firearms. At Dollar General, the safety of our customers and employees is a priority, the statement read in part. In line with that commitment, we employ a number of safety and security procedures to prevent, deter, and if necessary, respond to criminal activity in our stores. It continued but then added, to protect the integrity of these measures, we do not comment on them specifically. Because Dollar General is considered private property, the employee didn't need a permit for carrying a concealed weapon, according to Lt. Hall. As far as the employee at Dollar General, he was legally possessing a weapon, he said. He was on private property at his place of employment. According to police, Dollar General stores were being hit hard in the few months prior to this incident. In fact, this particular store had been robbed four times in less than a year. Knowing this, it's no wonder an employee would want to arm themselves. Even so, the family of the deceased is adamant that the employee should not have been allowed to have a gun at work. Roosevelt Rapley is the second of the ten siblings to be killed by gunfire. Perhaps it's time his family considers how to avoid such situations rather than faulting those acting in self-defense. As the old proverb goes, live by the sword, die by the sword. Or in other words, those who live by violence will die by violence. Intended victims have a legal right to self-defense. If that's not a risk you want to take, don't point a gun at an innocent person. It's really that simple.